Hey there, I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be fixing my uh, rattly, kind of squeaky tailgate. So I got the idea to do this last summer when I love driving around with my windows down, having this back window open, slit open, and just having all the airflow through there. But what's super annoying is driving around and hearing this squeak the whole time. You don't even have to be going off-road or anything. Just like little bumps, get it moving, and it's just so freaking annoying. So um, a lot of times I'll just leave the back window closed. But then I was on the Facebook group, the First Gen Tundra's Facebook group. If you're not a member, I recommend it. Um, tons of good information. And one of the other members on here, um, Ryan Miller, makes these really cool 3D printed tailgate bushings that you just um, replace with the factory ones. And they're supposed to clean up a lot of the slop that happens. They're 35 bucks. He sends them out right to your house and um, they look really nice. I mean, you can tell they're 3D printed, um, but I mean, they look like they're gonna work well and uh, I'm anxious to get them on and see if it actually makes a difference. He also includes these 3D printed bump stops that um, just replace the factory ones kind of up a little bit higher um, and should help fix some of the slop as well. So it's a pretty easy install, but um, you do have to take the tailgate off and there's some drilling involved to drill out the old rivets. But um, other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, we'll see how quick I can do this. It's getting, you know, where I'm in December now, it's getting close to the shortest day of the year. So it's four o'clock and we're fighting daylight, but let's, let's bang this thing out. So removing the tailgate's actually a lot easier than I was expecting. Um, there's a dude on YouTube here who did it all one-handed, filming with the other hand. It's like a minute long video. Super, super helpful. Um, props to him, because that's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. But all you do is you just kind of uh, lean the tailgate up a little bit, and then you can pop off the, um, the support straps, whatever you want to call these things, on both sides. It's really simple. You just kind of peel back this metal tab if you have it there, and then it just slides right up and off. And then um, you just kind of pitch it up to around 45 degrees and it'll just slide right out from the right side and then it pulls out on the left. Now, my truck, I installed a backup camera. So I have this wire that's running out the bottom and into the, the, t the bed here. So I can't just bring it into my garage or something. So what I did, I laid down a carpet here, a mat, and I'm just gonna lay it in here and work side by side. So Ryan's instructions say to drill out the rivet in the middle there with a 964th drill bit. I just hit it with a center punch quick to make sure that the drill doesn't walk around, but let's, uh, let's drill this thing out. So actually, if you look on the back side here, it actually pushed it out. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and punch it through the rest of the way and it should come right out. Nice. Here's a quick comparison of what's coming out versus what's going in. This one has like this, I don't even know what it is, like a, I don't know, it looks like it extends or retracts, but it was on its way out anyways. And then this guy will just slide right in like this. Where is it? Right here. And then screw in from the back right here. Worth noting that it does have these two locator pins on it and they'll line up with, and they'll line up with the two dots in there just to help make sure it's in the right spot. So the problem that I'm running to here is that you can see that the bottom of this is circular and then over here, it kind of like juts in. So I don't know if this is bent or the factory one that I took out has like a flat spot there. So I don't know if it's supposed to have a flat spot to fit up against that. Um, and this one just doesn't have it. So I don't know, I'm not, uh, not too sure about that. Okay, 
okay cool so we got that in uh, i'm not sure if it was heating it up that helped or maybe kind of melted the 3d um, printing plastic whatever but uh, it's in now and now we go on the back side we use the three millimeter allen key to tighten this down and then we're uh, we're good to go over here Okay, well the three didn't fit, but I have this two and a half, which, um, which does fit. So we'll use this guy. Okay, cool. Now we'll do the same process on the other side here. We'll just try to swing this around. Okay, that side fit in really nice. No heat required. Well, dang, it was easy as that. This side went a lot smoother um, without having that cut out, but uh, just a little bit of heat. I don't know if it's just because it's freezing out here, <laughs> um, but yeah, got both sides in. Now we'll reattach the tailgate. The way to do it is just slide the left side in here first and then have it back up at that same like 45 degree-ish angle and then slide it down in there and uh, then reattach the support cables. Wow, look at that. It's not moving at all. Before there was a ton of play down here. I wish I got a pic or video of it. Maybe you can see it in the, the first clips, but um holy crap <laughs> i was not expecting it to make a big difference or that big of a difference okay maybe they need to be uh <laughs> lubed up a little bit but dang that's crazy okay yeah i'd recommend a little bit of white lithium grease on the inside uh, i'm gonna do that right now <laughs> Isn't it crazy what a little bit of white lithium grease can do? But uh, yeah, I mean, dang. Look at that. No movement at all. That's crazy. So like I said, he also supplies these rubber bump stops that will replace the factory ones right here. So I'll pop this guy out and then throw this new one in. You can do that on both sides. And then let me close the tailgate. Actually, so it's not really closing with his bump stops in there. I probably have to really slam it shut. Yeah, I don't know. But it's closing really good with mine, so I'm probably just gonna put the old ones back in and then uh, call it there. So we pop the old ones back in and then, yeah, it shuts, shuts good now. So good to go. But it is nice that he provides them as an option if uh, you need to do it on your truck. I'm super happy. Um, huge thanks to Ryan for uh, making these things. Really cool. Seems like a really cool dude. I was talking with him a little bit uh, after I bought him. And yeah, he um, you can find his stuff on Facebook if you just search um, Tailgate Rattle in the First Gen Tundra's Facebook group. Um, but he also has an Instagram. It's B40Built. I'll have it uh, on the screen and then link down below too. Um, go check it out. Send him a message if you want some of this. He also has some other cool goodies for the First Gen Tundra's. He's got like a um, gas cap holder because they tend to break and then um, like a <clears throat> switch panel for the where the sunglass holder is he makes one of those too all 3d printed which uh, I think is just really cool so if you want to support another um, you know first gen tundra owner small business sort of deal um, go check out his stuff he seems like a really cool dude so uh, yeah that's it for today though super happy with this um, thank you so much for watching thanks for subscribing and have a great rest of your day